So how can we use the numbers in our data set to make a frequency table? We're going to talk about that in this video. So let's begin by making a two column table. So I'm going to write V for value and then F for frequency. Now let's start with the lowest value in our data set. The lowest value is three. Now how often does the number three appear in that data set? Notice that we could see it two times. So the frequency of that value is two. Now let's look for the next highest number. The next number in the list is four. And there are one, two, three fours in our data set. So the number four has a frequency of three. Now let's move on to the next highest number. The next highest number is a five. And so we have one, two, three, four, five fives. I believe I counted all of them. Now, the next highest value is a seven. So we only have one seven in our data set. Next is an eight. And I could see one, two, three, four, five eights. So that's a very simple way to make a frequency table. Now, how can we use this table to calculate the mean, the median, the mode, and the range? Well, let's start with the range. The range is the difference between the highest number and the lowest number. And so we can see that the number with the highest value is eight. The number with the lowest value is three. So in this example, the range is gonna be five minus three. Now, what about the mode? How can we use the frequency table to calculate the mode? The mode is basically the number in the data set with the highest frequency. So in this case, there's two such numbers because the highest frequency is five. So this is gonna be a bimodal data set, meaning that it has two modes. The value of the first one is five and the value of the second mode is eight. Now, let's say if we introduce another number, let's put another five here. So the range is not gonna change. So now we have a total of six fives instead of five of them. So in this case, it's no longer a bimodal data set. It's a unimodal data set. So there's going to be one mode. Since now five has the highest frequency, the value five is the mode of the data set now. Now let's calculate the median. The median is basically the middle number in a data set if it's arranged in increasing order. So how can we use the frequency table to determine the median? So notice that we have the first five numbers on the left and the first five numbers on the right. If we follow this pattern, it is clear that the middle number is going to be a five. So that's a quick and simple way to use the table. Now, if that confuses you, what you could do is you could write these numbers in ascending order. So we have two threes. We have three fours. We have six fives. One seven and eight fives. So let's say we cross out the first five numbers on the left and the first five numbers on the right. Next, let's cross out the next two numbers on the left and the next two numbers on the right. And then let's repeat this pattern. And so we can see that the middle number is five. So that's the median. Now, what about the mean, the average? How can we calculate the mean in this example? The mean is basically the sum of all the numbers divided by the number of data items in our set. To get our n value, what we need to do is basically 
add up all the numbers in the frequency column. So let's go ahead and do that. 2 plus 3 is 5, plus 6, that's 11, plus 1 is 12, plus 5 is 17. Now let's calculate the sum. We can multiply the value by the frequency, so 3 times 2 is 6. We had two threes, so we're basically summing those two threes. 4 times 3 is 12. So this gives us the sum of these three numbers. And then 5 times 6 is 30. So that's basically the sum of the 5, 6 that we see in green. 7 times 1 is 7. 8 times 5 is 40. So now let's add up all the numbers in that column. So we have 6 plus 12, that's 18, plus 30, that's 48, plus 7, 55, plus 40, so it's 95. So 95 is the total sum of all the numbers in this set. And there's 17 numbers, so 95 divided by 17. That's going to give us a mean of approximately, this is going to be our rounded answer, 5.8. Five, nine. And so that's how you can calculate the mean using a frequency table. For the sake of practice, let's work on another problem. So pause the video and then use the data that you see here to make a frequency table. Now once you have that table, use it to calculate the mean, median, mode, and range. So go ahead and try it. Let's begin. Let's start with a two-column table. So V for value, F for frequency. So the lowest value that we have is a 2. And there's 1, 2, 3, 4 twos. The next highest value is a 4. And there's 1, 2, 3, 4s. Next up is a 5. And so we have 1, two fives. Now there's only one six. Next we have an eight. Let me use a different color. One, two, three. There's a total of four eights. And the highest value is a nine. So we have one, one, two, three, four, five nines. So this is our simplified frequency table. Next, let's calculate the range. So as we said before, the range is going to be the difference between the highest value and the lowest value. And we can easily see the highest value in our table. The highest value is 9, and the lowest value is 2. So 9 minus 2 is 7. So that's going to be the range for this example. Next, let's calculate the mode. As we mentioned before, the mode is the number with the highest frequency. And so 5 is the highest frequency. The value that corresponds to 5 is a 9. So the mode is 9. Now what is the median in this example? What is the middle number? What would you say? Well, we could eliminate four numbers on the left side and four numbers on the right side. And then we can also eliminate five numbers on the left and five on the right, which means the middle number is going to be a value of six. Six is the median in this case. Now, if you want to prove it, let's write out the numbers in ascendant order. So we have four twos, three fours, two fives, one six, four eights, and five nines. So we can eliminate the five nines with four twos and one four. We can eliminate the next four numbers on the right side and the next four numbers on the left, leaving six as the middle number. So that's how you can confirm that six is indeed the median. Now let's calculate the mean. 
So let's make another column. So we're going to put the sum. 2 times 4 is 8. 4 times 3 is 12. 5 times 2 is 10. 6 times 1 is 6. 8 times 4 is 32. 9 times 5 is 45. Now let's add up the sum column. So 8 plus 12 plus 10 plus 6 plus 32 plus 45. That's a total of 113. And then 4 plus 3 plus 2 plus 1 plus 4 plus 5 is 19. So the median, I mean not the median, but the mean is the sum divided by the number of data items in the set. So the total sum is 113 and it is a total of 19 numbers. 113 divided by 19, that's going to give us an average of approximately 5.95. So that is the mean for this data set. So that's basically it for this video. So now you know how to create a frequency table and you know how to calculate the mean, median, mode, and range using that frequency table. Thanks for watching.